This intel lockup. God damn, there must be thousands of files here. Part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. There we go. The missing files all stamped November 25th. There we go, Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. All right, let's see, November, yes, oh yes. You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm going to take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. Got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, inventory. Picket, tag, and cat it. Roger that. McCall, get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on it. Seizure team is inbound. They're going to be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1,500 hours by a seventh failure. And then... September 19th, 2006, Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it.
it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment remains LC. incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, I would like to blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, caused untold death. <laughs> the outbreak. It was Calder. Of your soldiers. Charlie squad, redeploy to the basement. Flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. Locked! Ugh. There's gotta be a way out of here. How the hell do you obscure troops get around? What have we here? Ah! Ah! Still warm. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! Oh! Oh! No! 
Yeah, that's a lot of steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Parlay zombieism into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first, the client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, are you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. You're out of your mind. You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, when who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades of gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever, because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. 